Hello everybody and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. So we're still making our way through the hospital. And reading the ramblings of Mr. Stanley Coleman. But I think... Oh, excuse me. The range on that effing pipe. We need to go to C4, yep. I could probably ditch the shotgun. Actually, didn't I have a... Yeah, I did. Silencer. Probably reload it. There we go. Oh, great. Speaking of Stanley Coleman. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget all, about all of that. But I still stay sane, even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty winches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. Why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. This guy takes obsession to a whole another level. There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Shouldn't the cookie be rotten? Or I imagine ants got a hold of it. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? Yeah, it's just like a bunch of mundane things glued to the wall. There's a key glued to the wall. Let's take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. You even pull it off. Okay, this is what the nail polish remover is for. And there's the stairwell key. Oh god, they're rushing me. I swear, the bubblehead nurses in this game have like some really weird hitboxes. Speak up, bubblehead nurses, there's one. All right, now that we're in the stairwell, uh, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop to the roof because there's some ammo we could pick up up there. Oh, hello. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly, you two. Stanley Coleman. Bump into Pyramid Head and he just throws me off the roof again. Uh, that's not Pyramid Head. So it looks like the gate is fixed. Because that's the same effing gate that Pyramid Head throws uh, James Sunderland through. Oh, we need to head down to the third floor. And let's go ahead and head into solitary confinement. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in a special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewriter sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. 
The chief is a pervert. Christine would have been better off if she had been fired. That's kind of disturbing. I should be the last one. Blowing freely your ebony hair like the night sky. Scattered fragments. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturb my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. Shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what you, I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Oh my god, this guy. Take the hint, bro. Alright, there's a save point. Items right here. Stun battery, health drink, health drink. Definitely need more of those. And another one. Heather, I'm a most sacred lover. I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel inten intensely lonely. Yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shells in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. Yeah, I disagree with that. Yeah, we could take the elevator or... You know, I'm just going to go ahead and take the stairs. Or is that the stairs? Nope, that's a broken door. We already been on the second floor, I think, so. Yeah, the basement. Oh, hello. Submachine gun bullets. Ooh, I wonder what we're going to get. Wheelchair, where the person was that was using it. I don't know, but there's bullet casings everywhere. Got a submachine gun. Blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy, too. Well, at least we got an Uzi now. There's a suspicious pit between the shelter and the wall. Well, I can't squeeze into there, and there's no way I can move the shelf either. 
So remember that Polaroid camera we got? Five, six, two, four. I gotta remember that. Five, six, two, four. Well, if that could, let's head up back upstairs. I think we need to head back up to the third floor. There we go. Hmm. And go through the first door. There's a magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair, Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by a Silent Hill Small Support Society, charity organization seen sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-known respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it's is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith Temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night you can hear their weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out since then. It hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigation, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Fortunately, no one was willing to tell me, tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. May in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion has operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's religious. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but the worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. Intended to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Oh, he's German. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. And let's head over to S7. Oh, doll's broken now. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. World for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me today. Heather watching out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my...
Dolls all torn apart are really pretty sad to look at. I think it was sad to begin with. Excuse me. Well, we got a phone call. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry, but... She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of foreshadowing there. Oh, here comes the nurses. Oh yeah, we can't go through that door. One just tried to shoot me in the face. Set down on the second floor. Oh, luckily we killed everything here. Oh, yeah, this weird place. Oh, here we 
over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this place can be very wonky. not good there's the seal make sure this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it but I know this one it must be still has an unusually high fever eyes don't open getting a pulse but just barely breathing why what is keeping that child alive What the hell? Was I daydreaming? It was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room? She did get a little weird, though. Kind of interesting to see Lisa again. She, of course, was the nurse from uh, Silent Hill 1. Oh, we're in the other world now. And there's... I forget his name. It started with like a V. Bill there something like that. And a dead nurse. Oh, I don't fall off. There's another nurse getting dragged in by one of those little fuckers. Pretty sure. It's really hard to see the doors here. Yeah, whatever. We need to go the other way. It looks like there's a path there, but no, there isn't. Oh God, not them. I need to hang on, let me look on the map real quick. <sighs> yeah, I probably need to run back to the day room. Be like a all 
probably heal up too. There we go. I do know there's like a room somewhere in here that contains ammo. I just need to figure out where it is. Not that one. Not that one. You can't go down that way. Oh, please tell me this is it. Or not, this is the blood bucket. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Blood dripping from it, it has totally filled the bucket set up below. It would do this for what? It looks like full of blah, 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 blah. Not the room I was looking for, though. Literally, it's so hard to see in this effing room. There we go. This is the room I was looking for. Hey, I got bullets. And outside the window. And a save point right there. Just gotta remember where this is. some bullets, but... Dead. Oh, the freaking bathtub room. This is definitely one of the creepiest rooms in the game. Cause you just see the blood in the mirror and then like it comes out of the freaking... And then Heather just starts getting covered with it. Yeah, 
Yeah, there it goes. Oh no, I stayed in for too long. Oh, no, we're good. Yeah, if you do not get out of that room in time, you will instantly die. Fair warning. That room is very iconic. Oh great, where am I now? Wait a minute, am I back in the- I'm back in this room. Let's not go back in the blood bathroom because I have a feeling if I go back in there I'm gonna die. That room's still broken. circles. All right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I really need to like go through this area and try to figure everything out. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, have a good day.